Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today I have for you, as you saw in the title, a flip through of my Erin Condren Planner 2016. I have an update for you. If you remember, my last few um, Plan With Me's, I've been telling you how bulky it was. And I've been wanting to re uncoil it. But I didn't want to deal with the time, and I didn't want to... You know, it's tedious and hard, and I didn't know if I would have another coil. Where would I put the other ones I took out? What I wanted to do was take out the first six months, because I have an 18-month planner. So I had July through December of 2015 in here. And let me tell you, it was getting bulky. So what I did was I just tore off the pages, as if like a notebook. I cut off the rigid ends, ends and I was able to take the hole punch, Punch the holes for a ring binder, and it fits really nice in the Target dollar spot little binders for $3. And I had had one, and I was trying to do a little bit of play planning in there to see if I liked it, and I don't. So I was able to take all that out. I put the six months in, and it fits so perfectly. Like, it's not too bulky. I can store it away, I can have it to save, and I'm excited. I'll put a little label on the binding of the outside so I'll know what it is. And now this one, to finish up the rest of the year, is not going to be as bulky anymore. I mean, it's getting there, um, but to be able to open it up, and I can even close it now, and it look pretty decent, so I'm really happy. Okay, so this is my current week. Today is the 10th. The day before 9-11 and also Grandparents Day. And that's why I did this Grandparents theme. But what I like to do is just kind of do a flip through. I'm going to start with June. And just let me know if you want to see another full flip through from the beginning of the year. Um, I could show you January up till June. And then I'll do another one um, as of September to the end of the year. So that you can see that at the end. So here is June in the month spread. And starting back March, let's see, I guess most of this year, I really started um, filling in, like, the important events. So there's January, um, February, you know, depending on the month. But then I started thinking of it here in March, and I was like, okay, I really want to start filling in a little bit more. I've been seeing people fill out like a special something that happened every day. And so for May, that's what I had did. So in June was my second month of really starting to fill it out every day. So what I would do is when I started off the month, I put some stickers and I would try to put them like, see, in the middle so that you can still write on each day. So here was like their last day of school, and then when I knew it, so I wrote it in. And, um, you know, for my birthday. And then just some here. Like here, I knew I could still fill it out. Um, so I really love it. I love that you can kind of see something that happened every day. I'm using washi to indicate something for many days, which was our vacation. And now I'll show you week to week. We did the camping theme and... The reason for this was the um, family camping for his um, Cub Scouts, Benjamins, and we had a really good time camping out for that weekend. So then we did a somewhat patriotic, but it was just in one of those sticker books. I thought it would be cute. Then for Father's Day, I was able to find a sheet at Michael's that had basically a lot of these that you see. And it had the letters that said, Dad. All these was on the little sticker sheet. So it was really cute. And then um, for my birthday, um, I so I was able to backtrack and I printed up some pictures that was on my phone. I had gotten my Polaroid zip. So if anyone wants to see a review on how I enjoy my Polaroid zip, leave a comment below and I will give it to you very soon. 
I love it. I haven't used it now in a few weeks. I should go back and print some pictures up and see if I have spaces for it. Um, being when I knew, like you'll see it on my vacation week right here starting, I left space. I put um, snapshots for here and then I would, you know, opposite, do memories and then so I would switch it so I wouldn't have all the same, you know, and then I added some down here because I was, you know, I had a whole bunch that I wanted to show. Um, we went to the movies to see Dory right before our vacation and then the beach up here. And this was my birthday. So and then on these pages, I'll put post-it notes of ideas and things that I need to remind myself of. And I want to keep them. I take a washi and I stick them down. Okay, July. Fourth of July. So again, I just went and I put some stickers down in the middle so that I can still write on each day but make it look pretty. And I would try to use, like here I use red and blue pen. I would start off with, you know, one color and kind of intertwine different colors. So here was our vacation week. I used a lot of my Polaroid zip and wrote down memories of what we did. This is all pretty much Polaroid zip. So then we came back on the Friday and I needed to do my planning and my vacuuming and cleaning and laundry and going back to a market. Then 4th of July week and again I put some pictures in with the Polaroid zip. And over here is Emma had her friend's birthday party. So some pictures there. Then I did a Rainbow Bright. One of my friends I saw on YouTube had did it and she inspired me. These are my little... And this is when Benjamin was in the hospital, Hasbro Children's Hospital. So I got pictures of him at the hospital. This here describes everything that happened. I gotta actually put these in. I haven't cut them yet. So that's the whole story. Then I did Lightning McQueen since my son had a whole bunch of stickers and he wasn't really using them so I said let's do a McQueen. Being I had this tape here which is cute, the caution. And again some more Polaroid zips of when we went to a local feast. And of course you have to do Paw Patrol. Ben and Emma love Paw Patrol and I thought it would be kind of colorful. And I have, that's right, the paw prints, washi, and this is when we went to our family camping, and my husband chopped his hand with the axe. <laughs> and I think on the monthly, that's what I put. Let's go back. Ready? July 30th. Right here. Stephen chops his hand with the axe. <laughs> You gotta commemorate that one. Alright, so Paw Patrol. And again, some ideas here for school supplies, what we needed to get. Um, this is stuff I wanted to do to start getting ready for my, the boy's birthday. The Disney trip to stop getting stuff on Pinterest, on my board. And what else? This is what I gotta do soon is my Etsy stickers that I wanna get for um, Disney for the planner. So then August we decided to do Winnie the Pooh from Monthly. We love Pooh and I use just a red pen throughout the month. I think that looks really cute and I love this one being this here is not August so I had space to put that in. It really is cute. And then we did the Pooh theme for the week. So really cute. This is our anniversary of nine years. We went out to our restaurant where we proposed. And we did minions. And you have the yellow, you know, you gotta do minions. And I have a bunch of those sticker books. 
So. And I know some of these I didn't do a plan with me, so you'll get to see when I didn't have a plan with me. Now this one here I didn't like so much. Um, I didn't end up getting any big stickers of the, I don't know, I'm calling them daisies. I don't know if they're sunflowers. But, um, so I, I would like to get some and maybe stick them in somewhere. And that's why this one I'm not too fond of. But every once in a while, I don't have many that I really don't like. And this was one I didn't come out as what I was hoping. But I don't have many of them. Pineapples. I was really excited about this one. Um, I'm, this is my first set that I'm working on for my um, silhouette. Um, and I didn't have time to print it up to use it on here. But I've made one. But this is really cute. It still came out cute. This is just scrapbooking paper. So really cute. And now on to September. Back to school. So I just put some stickers. These were ones I had in the, um, where was this? In the Target thing. And I thought I'd just put them in to kind of look like, you know, the school writing. It's kind of cute. Now that's September. And then we have our back to school week. I love the new Target wa um, washi tape with the measuring. And then, yeah, this is what it was, the numbers. And I had to cut them off, and I said, oh, let me use them for the monthly. So, and then some of these I've had for Sebastian's. I have junior high rules, first day of school, and then Ben and Emma's first day of school right here. And then I figured the weekend banner would be back to school. Really cute. And now we're up to this week. Grandparents Week for 9-11 Grandparents Day. And if you haven't seen my plan with me that was up. No, it's right. I didn't do a plan with me. So this is next week. And it is Secret Life of Pets. Um, you can get a little sticker book at Target in the dollar spot. And the second sheet is these beautiful pinky colored ones for the cat and little Max, I think his name is. And it's adorable. So, um, yeah, there's like, I'm trying to think. It comes with like some mint green bones. And hearts so I had to hard to it's so cute and that is it um, you'll be seeing playing with me for the rest of September so again like I said if you want to see um, the first half of the year January through May of a flip through please just comment below and let me know and and let me know if you want to see you know for the end of the year I'll definitely do it for you back in um, no back in when December comes thank you guys for watching give me a thumb up comment down below and as always enjoy that glitter